have a really, really special art program here. It's a very old program. There's a rich history of art at St. Paul's in all disciplines and mediums. Painting, drawing, ceramic, sculpture, glass, photography, and printmaking. We have the ability in our program to guide students through advanced processes with materials, such as the wheel throwing and the hot shop. What other school has a glass blowing studio? I don't know of any other. We also offer a lot of professional interaction with artists. So we have a fantastic visiting artist program where we invite artists onto our grounds and they interact with the students, they interface directly with them in classes. Once a term, we're able to bring students to Boston or to Dartmouth to see a professional exhibition, get them into a museum, and for many of our students, it's the first time. We're really proud that we're able to kind of break down that barrier, bring them in and give them that opportunity to look at art and talk about art and just have fun in that space. We also have the Crumpacker Gallery. As a gallery director, I curate shows every year, and we always try to connect those shows to our curriculum. It's really exciting with photography. Students who might think of themselves as more of a math science person can find that it's really physics, it's really chemistry, and if they approach it from that angle, they know how to exercise their creativity that way. Even if a student didn't necessarily think they had something to say, they find that they actually really do have a voice and that their voice is valued in the images they create. First year, students take a couple of musicianship classes a week and they get lessons. And we're one of the only schools, if a student is in the applied music program, where the lessons don't cost the parents any additional money. So there's a good investment and, and there's always been good support for that here. We offer lessons in almost every instrument, except maybe accordion. You know, we, we have a harp teacher on, you know, we have bassoon. So just, just about anything students want to play, but we focus specifically on orchestral instruments. The orchestra program has been, I think, the flagship instrumental ensemble for decades. The idea is we're training students to be part of an ensemble with, again, the idea that they could be potentially participants in a, in a good college music program. It's unusual for you know a school under 600 to be able to field an orchestra. Among the schools that we compete with, we can hold our own quite well, and among the schools our size, I think we eclipse many of them. You know, the applied program is very, very efficient. So if you're in applied one, you take two musicianship classes and you get one private lesson. Once you go two, three, and four, you get two lessons a week. And now, this is something very new, and I'm very excited, we have an afternoon music program. Quality of students that we get, they're really bright, and they catch on. They catch on a lot faster than I did at that age. And I just like seeing them all of a sudden discover what tone they can make on their instrument that's different than what they were used to doing. That's fun. And when somebody really gets it and all of a sudden they just light up, you know, it's just a great feeling. The theater program at St. Paul's is evolving and growing as we speak right now because I'm new and we have many new initiatives. We really want the theater program to be more inclusive, more visible, and really available to all students who want to join us, including students who maybe in the past haven't been able to, for instance, students in sports. So we're really working on having breadth and depth so that we can really focus on the students who really want to focus on theater all three terms, and also the students who just want to join us every once in a while to have some fun. The opportunities available to students in the theater program, I think, are getting to be vast. So not only can you perform, but you also have so many technical theater opportunities. So for instance, we do two faculty-directed productions, and that is in the fall right now, in the spring. And in the spring, we're going to do our first musical since I believe uh, 2015. So we're really excited about that. The role of any arts in a community is to learn more about ourselves and to learn more about others. And I also think part of the arts programs is also to shine a mirror up to society and have us really think about a few topics and a few things. So thought-provoking theater is something that we're really looking to do. So it's not only entertaining, but we want the, the audience to go away thinking about what just happened. And I think St. Paul's um, is ready for that. St. Paul's is really focused on giving the directors and the students what they need to have the best 
best student art experience possible. We just have to lead the way and let St. Paul's know what we need for that vision. That's what I love when I teach, is to see those little sparks start to bubble up and then have the student sort of figure out who they are. That is what I love. The dance department offers varied opportunities to all students at St. Paul's School. So a student who has never danced before can come take Dance One class. A student who has a dance background and doesn't want to do Dance One can do Ballet Two through Ballet Five. All of those classes are offered during the academic day. Dancers who come to St. Paul's wanting to dance all the time can join the St. Paul's School Ballet Company, which is by audition only. This year we have 21 dancers. We also have an incredible visiting artist program, bring in experts in modern and jazz and contemporary so that those dancers are getting many different styles and types of training as well. The community is so supportive and so wonderful, and I think, I hope, they enjoy coming to our performances and supporting the dancers. Hopefully it enriches the campus in a way that's special. I don't think any other academic boarding school has a dance program like St. Paul's. These dancers are getting very rigorous training. They are dancing many hours a week, especially the St. Paul School Ballet Company. They're rehearsing every day and they're working with some of the best choreographers and teachers through the visiting artist program that the dance world has to offer. One of the incredible things about the St. Paul School Dance Program is that students who come here can pursue both academics and dance. Oftentimes when students go to a pre-professional program, they're dancing for much of their day, which means their academics are shifted to online programming. St. Paul's School Ballet Company dancers built an atmosphere that is just supportive and wonderful and fun and they really take care of one another. Everything's budding with potential and opportunity and they have so much that they're doing right now and so much to look forward to. And I love that dance can influence who they are and who they become. The chapel music program is part of the school that has been in existence really since the beginning. Main activity with chapel music is to be a member of the chapel choir, rehearses three times a week, sings music for various occasions. You could say that you develop an ownership and a pride in the music that happens in the building, and you also are developed as a musician and as a person. Week is to sing Compline together. We also sing the much-loved Festival of Lessons and Carols every year. In any given school year, there'll be five or six performances on what we call the Kaiser Concert Series, which is a long-standing series of concerts that usually features anything from a chamber music group to a choir that comes from somewhere in Europe. Really anything that can be brought to the school to be a little bit different to what we do here. It's uh, also an opportunity for our students to be in a workshop situation with some of these professional musicians and exposes them to aspects of a professional musician's life that they may not uh, experience otherwise. When they come to St. Paul's and see the chapel and they hear the organ and sometimes they hear when the choir is singing so they actually hear some live music in the space, it uh, speaks to them because it's an experience that they're used to being involved with. At the same time, there may be a good number of students that come here that this is their first exposure to that kind of music and they quickly find themselves involved and appreciating everything that comes with it. They love putting the robe on. They'll say, Mr. White, are we wearing red and white tonight or just red? And I try to give them the right answer. One of the most special aspects about Morning Chapel is that we will often have a student musician perform on their instrument as part of that chapel service. We're able to all enjoy live, in the moment, the talent of a young violinist or a pianist, sometimes a chamber music ensemble like a string quartet or a piano trio. All of that adds up to making a program that is really um, vibrant and exciting. At St. Paul's, we really believe in the power of art and in an education. And for that reason, all of our students are required to take one year of art because we really invest in the whole person. And for us, that means their creativity as well.